What's up, everyone? We are back in NCAA Football 08, and last episode was an amazing return to the series. I'd been waiting so long to film that, and it was great. It lived up to expectations, an amazing game on my part, and I haven't checked, so we're going to right now where I'm at in Heisman standings, because... I've been up in the top five for most of the season, and that was an insane game. Currently, I'm sitting at number one, of course. I mean, yeah, you look at last game stats, you can see them right there if you're interested. I'm not going to recite them off. It was nuts. We dominated Utah State after a slow start. And now we're going to play Fresno State at home, and this should be a pretty good game. With that said, let's get into it. All right, so never mind. This is an away game. We're up to number 18 now. Rainy game here in Fresno State. Let's get a win. Improved to 12-0 and on the year. I don't know how many games we have left. That's my concern. We lose the coin toss. My issue is, is if we don't, and we let up a touchdown in the first 50 seconds, holy crap, and now we're pinned on our own four. What the heck happened? I'm going to take the run up the middle. Solid gain of seven. As I was saying, my biggest concern is if we don't get ranked, we got no recruits last year. Like, if we don't get ranked in, like, championship game standards we weren't we didn't recruit anyone last year and we're going to lose more people this year we're losing gun and i don't remember the other dude's name he didn't make an impact last episode so i can't remember and no blocking there but we're going to be worse next year and so it'll be harder to win games. I think I can still carry us to some wins, but it'll be much more difficult than this season. And I'm not sure if we'll be able to win a championship in my time here if we can't get it this season. I take that one for a gain of five. And I believe into their territory. Nope, two yards short. And I get to motion out and run around. This will be fun. Hit me. Ricky threw that one right out of bounds. Third and five. We'll see how this goes. He throws it to me, and I think I got the first. And we did. I managed to just push backward to get over the line. Well, I tried to flip the direction that that run was headed. It didn't work. But gain of four. I wanted to run it to the left side. And now we are. But now I want to run it to the right side. And Ricky doesn't give me time to change the play there either. Still got the first though. And now a counter. And I like how this is getting set up. Oh yeah, right up the gut, and our linemen don't hold their blocks. That's minimum down to like the five yard line if they hold their blocks. Instead only a five yard gain. Cause like only the safeties would have had a shot. Pick up the first and I get subbed out. We do score though. But so do they. But they fa they failed to get the extra point. And so now with 25 seconds left in the first quarter, we take over on offense again at our own 26. And abysmal blocking gets us a loss of one. And we're going to hand off to the fullback now. Gain of seven, now third and four. 10 seconds left in the first, we need to hurry up. 
I will take this one minimum to the first down marker. Dang, I slightly stumbled on the safety, and that gave them just enough time to catch me. Now the second quarter. Still down 13-7. And we're going to run it again. I'm averaging 5 yards per carry even right now. Going to run it to the left. We'll see how this fares. Those guys are right there. Managed to make one of them miss, but the safety cleaned it up. Didn't lose any yards, though. But that was really bad, and this play won't be much better. Uh, except for the fact that I forgot that I'm just a bulldozer when I'm blocking. I mean, I'm I was right. This play was not going to go anywhere. Except for I just kind of ran out here, killed this dude who wanted to jump the route just in time for Ricky's throw to get there. And then I went out and popped that guy too. It works. And now we're running a counter run instead of a straight dive. Why? They're crowding the line too. So fortunately, I don't stop running. And so I just kept moving my feet to get the first. But that could have been very bad. Okay, gap opens up in the middle. The safety ends up tackling me, but I do get the first and down to the 27-yard line. And we're just going to keep feeding me. Uh, I don't love either side. No, 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 no. Safety's moving up on that side. I break a couple tackles to get 13 on the play. And they sub me out. But we score and we take the lead. And I sat out for a while there. I'm coming back in finally. Less than two minutes left in the second. We're up one and in their territory. First and ten. But of course we're passing. If he had thrown that with a bit better timing, that's probably a touchdown. But he hesitated and so the corner was on me already. All right, another pass, even though it's second and inches. I pick up the backer, but it doesn't matter as two guys came through the line. Now third and six, and we're going to try to screen it. I hate our coaches. We should have run it or screened it last time. But now, now I just kind of sprinted upfield, called for the ball, and just kept moving my feet to ensure that we got that. First and 10 on their 34 now. I don't love that we don't have a receiver out there to pick up the corner. I break a tackle, make another guy miss, and I think I gained a yard. It won't tell me though. Yeah, I gained a single yard and now we're running a screen. I get it, make the corner miss, but only like seven yards there. Worse. Six. <laughs> We're going to run it right up the middle here, third and three. If I don't see anything, I'm diving over the pile. I do see something, but the lineman slowed me down, and the safety came up to make the play. But we get the first, so it doesn't matter. We're good. We got a minute left, two timeouts. We're throwing it on the 21. And it's dropped. How can you drop that in that situation? You were wide open. Nobody near you. And he just straight dropped it. I'm just going to go out. No regards to a check down at all. And it doesn't quite go for six. We're stopped at the three. And we call the timeout, which means we're probably, yep, we're going to change to a pass. Gosh dang it. I go from having like the best game of my career aside from the San Jose State game freshman year to this game unless I get a bunch of rushing touchdowns in the second half. It's going to be a huge drop off. I'm going to get north and south with this immediately. 
and I get the touchdown, just barely. And we missed the extra point. What is going on? There have been two missed extra points this game. Fortunately, only one of them is by our team. But still. Quick snap. The lineman was ready for it and was right through there. But it doesn't matter. I shed the tackle. And I just keep trucking down to the 50. But that's halftime. If I could have broken that last tackle, that would have been another rushing touchdown on the last play before half. Oh, well, we got the ball to start the half. Ricky is having a subpar game right now. 8 of 14 for 90 yards on a touchdown. And we're going to pass it to start. He throws it. It's caught. First down. Already down to the 48, and we're going to run it. I'm at least getting into their territory this run. The fullback does a good job, and... I fulfilled what I said by a single yard, but it works. <laughs> it counts, averaging five and a half yards per carry right now, and one touchdown on 100 yards rushing. No, I want to run it this way. I don't want it on the left side. It doesn't matter, as either way that linebacker made the play, but it's now third and four. And another situation where I'm pretty sure I could dive over the pile and pick up the first if it's looking iffy. Which it wasn't until that lineman got off his block, but either way, first down. And we're just going to keep using the run game, which as long as I don't run out of stamina before we reach the end zone, I'm fine with. Ooh, that was close. Picked up another first, though. And I'm not even close to running out of stamina yet, it looks like. Not even in the yellow. I'm open. He does not throw it to me, who is wide open. Instead, he throws it to the fullback, who instantly goes out of bounds for a loss of a yard. That was a stupid play. And I'm going to counter run it to the weak side, which is a real question mark play. Ends up not paying off. Gain of two, but... Have to wonder what could have been if I had run that the way it was called. Like, the team did a good job executing. There was just too many unblocked guys there. Oh, that's encroachment. Yep, so that makes it a much more manageable third and four. And now we're going to pitch it for some reason. And another encroachment penalty. Never mind. First and ten. They gave up ten yards worth of penalties right there to give us the first. When it would have been third and nine with no penalties. But now we're handing it to the fullback for some reason. Who gets dropped right at the line of scrimmage. And now I have to work off that on second and ten. I get a chance to make up for it here. I'm going to run it the way it's supposed to be run. And it really didn't change too much. There were still people there. I just got up field faster. Which I guess helps. I mean, seven yards versus two yards, there is a huge difference. Now third and three. I get all the blocking I need to get into the end zone for a touchdown. We make the extra point and we're up 27-20 now as they score another touchdown. Gosh dang it. No easy victories here today as our defense is playing like a bottom 10 defense in the nation. But that just means I have to step it up on offense. If I could have broken that, I might have been gone. But gain of three. Averaging five and a half yards per carry on 26 attempts and two touchdowns. And I got lit up there. Holy crap. Third and six, and we're still going to run it. I better not get lit up again. Oh, oh no, that did not work. 
I tried to bump it because I didn't see anything there and it was third down. But that guy came up to make the play. They drive down, thankfully only get a field goal. And now this is a critical drive as we're only up four and it's the fourth quarter. We're motioning that dude. No one reaches that linebacker, but I fight him off and I truck another guy before getting tackled by two other people. Gain of four, but could have been a lot more if we had picked up that guy right away. It's a pass. Ricky just straight up misses it. Now third and six. And we're throwing with me not having an option for a route. This is bad. Can I try playing linebacker? Like, I mean that genuinely. Like, can I run running back and linebacker, please? That would be so much better for the team. I want to run it to the open side. We're motioning that guy, which messes up the entire defense. That's hopefully encroachment, but it might be a false start. But no, it's encroachment again. In their home stadium, three encroachment penalties. That is pretty bad. First and five, need to flip it, but did not get a chance to. And really nothing there. The gap closed in on me right away. But second and one now, as the first and five made a four yard gain look a whole lot better for our offense than it would normally. I catch it wide open and refuse to go down for a bit there, fighting for extra yards. And now time for play action. Under four minutes left to play. And Ricky throws an awful interception. But I think with the right angle here, I'm going to be able to catch him. And I do. Preventing a pick six. It sucks that we threw a pick six. But you can see me sprinting across right there. I ended up saving that one. I don't know what that animation was, but it works. I'm really hoping they don't get a touchdown. They don't. They actually give us the ball back somehow. I don't know how, but we have the ball back on our own 36 without them scoring. And somehow I'm not out of stamina after that. Wide open pass, first down to the 46. And now I get to motion out to be a receiver. And it's at their 46, it looks like. Never mind, it's our own. Well, I can't tell. It's their 46. So we're already into their territory. And now it's second and one. And I'm running out of stamina fast. I think I'm still trying to catch my breath after that uh, interception rundown. But, whatever. We're going to run the stretch play. I'm going to try to get north and south fairly quickly so that I can ensure that we get the first here. But the linebacker does a really good job stopping me. Third and one, and let's pass it. Sure, let's pass it. Out of empty set, once I motion. On third and one, with the game on the line. That's a great idea. Hopefully, based off the coverage look they're giving us, we'll be fine. But I don't know that we will be with this. Especially since he hasn't motioned me yet. He had to quick snap it. He does find a receiver, though. A clutch play there by Ricky. And now I get to run it. Aiming for touchdown number three for me this drive. Not going to happen though if we're losing fumbles. I don't personally feel like that was a fumble, but I could be wrong. Let's take a look. We had a lineman end up carrying it. Yeah, I get stood up by the backer right away. I get dragged down. Oh gosh, that was most definitely not a fumble. I'm sitting on the ground by the time it pops out. 
then the lineman picks it up and tries to run with it. That's one of the dumbest things I've seen in a while. If you're a lineman, unless you have a physique like I do, like I'm 170 pounds in playing the line, you should not run with the football if you pick it up. And even I probably shouldn't. Third down now. This is less than ideal. Third and seven. And Ricky overthrows me. Fourth down. We kick the field goal, though, to take a seven-point lead, which is good because they drive down and instantly score. So now with 30 seconds left, we're running play action. But I guess we do have three timeouts, so... Uh, that was a questionable call. And there's the first timeout. Now this is more like it. Some deep shots with a couple underneath routes, especially a check down to the back on the sideline. I think I caught, I thought I caught that, but whatever. Second and 10 now, 28 seconds left. I really don't want this to go to overtime. Because overtime against an opponent like this when we're ranked is really not looking good. And that was a really stupid call by Ricky. I was wide open, streaking down the field, and he throws it to the fullback in the flat. I don't know why Buck West is one of his favorite targets, but he is. And it could cost us the game, honestly. And I don't know what that was. Encroachment? Yep, that's their fourth one of the game. First down. But some more just dumb calls here. Out and ups. Like, our O line isn't going to give Ricky time for those to develop. He finds me in the middle of the field, though. First down. Getting us pretty well into field goal range. If we can get this playoff quick, move the ball a little bit more. Get it to me. Instead, he almost throws a pick. And now we have to kick it. Obviously going to watch this as the game is on the line here. Brenton Anderson kicks it. And it's no good. Because of course it is. We could not afford that. It is heads though. I'm going to let the defense try to do its thing first. They hold him to a field goal. And with how explosive our offense can be when it wants to be, we could easily take the game here. And yep, wide open pass for the first down, down to their eight. And now we're going to put it in my hands. The only tricky part is is more rankings. Like, I fully believed that we would win this game even if it went to overtime. My issue is the rankings, because we went to overtime against a very bad, unranked team. We beat them, but the fact that we went to overtime means that we almost didn't. And that is concerning all around. Number one classic game, apparently. I don't play this game enough, I guess. To be fair, my dynasty mode is on NCAA 11. But player stats, Ricky kind of sucked. I had 34 attempts, 161 yards, three touchdowns. Six receptions, 63 yards, no touchdowns, though. And two pancakes. Overall, solid game, but I really wish that wouldn't have gone to overtime. I'll see you guys next video.